it was the... I'll tell you what it was. It was the day after I was taken ill and I'm a celebrity to get me out of here. Oh. I was all right, actually. I was taken to hospital, but a lot of people got kind of a bit scared on my behalf. And I came here the next day to do a little interview about it with you and Piers, and you saw me in the corner and you gave me a great big mm. hug. You said, are you all right? I do have a heart. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to point that out. I just have quite strong personal I boundaries. Do. I know you do. Well, listen, um... we're doing this, because a new survey has found that only 21% of people actually do like to be greeted with a hug. But what about in the workplace? Well, former sales director Paige Lewin says hugging is not appropriate with work colleagues. But former Apprentice candidate and business owner Reese Donnelly says he's not afraid to cuddle, it's all about reading the room. In fact, <laughs> when I saw that you were CEO of Theatre School of Scotland, Reese, I thought, yeah, I bet you're... Are you hugging? You know, it's, that's what the theatre world is, darling. Well, exactly. <laughs> I think by the end of this, we are going to have a big hug <laughs> and we're all going to go on with it. I think that being the CEO of a business is about creating a culture and it's creating an energy, it's creating an atmosphere when you walk in a building. And I want people to walk into the business that I own and feel respected, feel loved by their yeah. colleagues. And I just think, is it that deep? The well, thing is, Paige, I don't want to be told that I'm going to hug somebody. First of all, it is that deep. Okay? <laughs> I'd just like to come back with that rebuttal. <laughs> and I think as much as I totally understand where you're coming from, in a day-to-day -day office job, there's not much theatre. There's not much theatre. There's, there's not the environment that necessarily calls for the hugging, the embracing, because the fact is we're all there with a job to do. Mm -hmm. right? I, think, I think on the back of that is, you know, I'm not under any illusion that we're all running around playing games and making shows right. every day. <laughs> we, on, we run an educational establishment yes. and I'm of the illusion that my staff will go through the highest highs and the mm -hmm. lowest lows mm -hmm. with me. And as you've just said, that might have been a low point where you embraced mm -hmm. with a hug. And my view is, is it really that harmful for us to give an embrace when people arrive at work? But you must have given people a hug in your time and felt instantly that they didn't welcome it, that you felt them stiff. Yeah, not in everybody's going to want that. You must hug, have had that experience. Right? Yeah, I think that that's reading the room, and I think this is what it oh, comes okay. down to. Sure. If we could teach this at schools and universities what, of hugging? reading, a, well, if we could teach reading the room, I think okay. that's one thing that would be very valuable. But I don't think I've ever been in a situation where I've thought, you know. I think differently of someone because they've gave me a hug. I'm like, it's not that deep. Okay, so there's a, there's another element to this. And I've been in a variety of work environments where mm -hmm. sometimes they hug, sometimes they don't. Now, there was a very interesting perspective that was given to me by a member of the accounts team. Mm -hmm. Now, they realised that the hugging often happened when you had a prior relationship. Maybe you work very closely with one another. So there were particular departments, i.e. in this company, sales and marketing, and they're very close. There's lots of hugging. Mm. There's lots of uh, sort of celebrating together. But then for the, the, the people that are working in silos, the people that maybe are in a separate office, the people ah. that are more introverts... So it's an unbalanced It, it feels like segregation then. almost. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. Because there's a visible divide between yeah. almost the clicky departments okay. that are more, more extrovert, yes. more open to the hug. And you think just banning hugging... In the same way that non-uniform days that was the pain feel. We spend one-third of our life in the workplace Come on, okay. let's hug it all out. We asked you if you'd cuddle a colleague and 47% of you said yes. More than half of you right. said... <laughs> there we go. Wow. Yes, you see, cos I just think, unless you're in a cuddle deficit and for some reason you've got just a backlog oh, of cuddles that you've never heard that expression before. Deep.